welcome back it is queen of queen she me and today i have another lifestyle video for you guys first i want to start off by saying thank you so much to everyone for all of your love and support like you guys have been coming through just raining down with just love commenting supporting me even if you're following me over on instagram i just have been filled with so much joy and i'm so appreciative of just how loving and supporting you guys are i'm just so appreciative that you guys have actually been interacting with me so much and so this just fills my little heart with so much joy so i just wanted to take the time out to just say thank you thank Thank you thank you to each and every one of you guys because without you queen she me wouldn't exist so today's video is going to be easy ways to combat with stress and i just wanted to come to you guys with this video because i see that a lot of us have you know a lot going on in our lives i know a majority of you are mothers or wives or husbands or in a relationship like i am you know and even if you're not in a relationship you know we all tend to go through different forms of stress from a day-to-day -day basis and I know for myself with having anxiety and um, depression you guys that I really have to keep my stress level down to a minimum and I have just come to terms with different ways that I have found that has helped me to actually cope or to pretty much combat my stress. I'm not going to say cope because we're not trying to cope with stress. We're trying to combat and eliminate stress. Am I right y'all? Am I right? Comment down below. With all that being said, what is stress? The definition stated here is saying that a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or very demanding circumstances. And I know just from experience, you guys, that if you do not learn or have ways to where you can actually handle your stress, your stress will actually start to overcome and just take over your life. And that is absolutely what we do not want. And I know for us African Americans in particular, we deal with a lot of mental mental illnesses and ultimately we just don't deal with them which is not good so that's why I'm coming to you guys with more lifestyle content because I find that a lot of us now are really trying to in a sense not, not just advocate but just bring awareness to certain things in the African American community and I know stress is definitely one of those ways that you can combat stress are so easy you guys and so the first one i know for sure is prayer oh my goodness the power of prayer you guys is phenomenal now i know everyone has their own you know religious belief systems you know and i'm not here to say well your religion is worse or bad off or whatever the case may be no that's not how i am i don't want anyone to become offended or anything like that but for me you know i am pretty much a christian i'm baptist faith you guys and for me prayer is important even if you don't get down on your knees and pray the traditional way you know even simply just saying a simple prayer like lord i need you or lord i thank you you know just a form of gratitude or just praying however you pray that works just fine because honestly when you begin to pray it actually takes your mind off of what it is that is actually stressing you out so just take some time to yourself whether it be in the morning or if you're at work or if you know you're having a situation happening even if you're driving I know for me praying while driving is awesome because like I will get going and just y'all I'll be praying I know people be looking at me crazy like who's that girl talking to I'm like yes I'm talking to my lord and savior so yes prayer is definitely a good way i mean it's no fancy way to pray to me praying is just simply talking in a way and just having enough respect you know to whoever your deity is you know and just going to them respectfully and just talking with them praying to them and just really just casting all your worries over because for you to carry that burden you shouldn't have to i mean god is there to be with you every single step of the way so prayer for me is just awesome another way to you guys is actually reading scripture and i know one i know a lot of people now don't traditionally have an actual physical bible but for me we still do we have several copies here in the house but we will actually reference to our cell phones if we're just looking for a quick scripture if we're needing inspiration or anything of that sort but really and truly if you're one who reads their bible daily and i know my mom she is an avid 
Bible reader. My mom is a prayer warrior. So I have learned a lot of things through her. So I really am just blessed with having a mom, you know, who has taught me how to pray and to actually just keep God as the head of my life. Even if you're not going to church every single Sunday, that does not mean that you do not believe in God. So prayer and daily reading of some form of scripture or inspiration at all will definitely help you to cope with some form of stress. Another way to combat stress, you guys, is to actually sketch out or just pencil in some alone time. Alone time will actually help you with your stressors because when we're just always on the go, you know, if you're getting pulled in so many directions by, again, your family, your kids, your loved ones, I mean, yeah, it can become pretty hectic and stressful at times because you'll start to think, well, where's the me time? Where's my alone time where I'm not being pulled in so many different directions and, you know, playing with all these different hats that I'm having to wear at one time? So I find that if you just make some alone time for yourself, like for me, I like to do yoga and meditation. So that's enough, honestly, alone time for myself throughout the day and if I just give myself that time whether it be 5, 15 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour each day it varies just depending on my mood so just the simple fact of giving yourself that alone time, that quiet time to just cut off the TV, cut off your radio, to leave your phone alone. But if you're like me and sometimes you like to have music, that's fine. But sometimes just simply just having a moment of silence, alone time, just being with you can actually help you to just tune in and to just start looking at places as to where like, you know, where are you having some problem areas and where are some areas that you can actually work on you know where your strengths where your weaknesses because if you're just always just surrounded by a lot of noise and chaos or again just being pulled in different directions for you know your day-to-day -day life you know you in a sense will forget about yourself you know and that you won't hear yourself you won't hear your spirit man you won't be able to just tune into that intuitive side of you to actually just be able to nurture it and listen to what it is that you're actually needing so for me, alone time, especially in the morning before bed gets up, I'm always an early riser I, and just have that quiet time to myself and you will start to actually hear things, you know, like your inner voice and then you, sometimes you'll actually hear different things in your house that you may have never even paid attention to. So in a sense, it kind of gets your awareness, you know, more um, in tune with yourself so that way when you're out in the world, you know, working or traveling or with your kids or going to different events and functions that you won't necessarily get lost in all the chaos and all the voices that you're hearing having that alone time really helps to keep my stress levels down because then when I go to start my day you know I've already had that alone time I'm zenful I'm peaceful I'm already in my aura I've already surrounded myself in my white light and I'm ready to go in to just combat the day to just conquer it y'all so yeah definitely a long time for me is very beneficial all right so one of my all-time classic favorite ways to combat stress is to read oh my gosh y'all i have been an avid reader since a child like even before i was born my mom would read books so she said while she was carrying us and i just love books like we would spend hours and hours at the library as kids just reading books checking out books and it's just never left me i mean i'm 26 years old and I still go to the library to this day. It's something about that page turning, just that just that connection with actually reading a physical book. I know a lot of people like the ebooks, but to me, it just takes away from the true feeling of actually reading and that fulfillment that you get from actually just spending that time to just give your mind a break to either whether it's a self-help book, a non-fiction or a fictional book, or whatever your preference of read may be, you guys. Reading to me is fundamental. It, again, gives me that time for me. It I go to a whole nother world. I start realizing that I'm calm. I'm more peaceful. You know, I don't feel all riled up and on the go. I'm actually giving myself a break from whatever it is that was actually causing the stress. And I find that even if you're just reading five, ten minutes out of the day, that is absolutely fine. But I'm one of those people who likes to read aloud and I like to hear myself reading because it makes me conscious as aware of what I'm actually reading, the content that I'm reading, and it actually helps me to retain it a lot better. And again, it just takes my mind off of, again, any kind of stress that I may be having. So I do have some books here that I want to share with you guys. Just, I just want to mention them. So one of the ones I've been reading is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And 
this is the first one that I read and my girlfriend Alexa she actually got me the one for women and I've actually shared that with you guys over on Instagram so if you just click on my lifestyle highlight over on my Instagram bio page or whatever you'll see the book that I'm talking about but this book the power of positive energy oh my gosh this book I highly recommend if you're stressed out if you don't know what you're doing or if you feel like you're lost or confused this book I highly recommend once I got done reading this book you guys I felt so much better I felt so enlightened I just felt so alive and filled with so much happiness and positivity and y'all this book is awesome and so her name is Tanaz Chubb and she is the creator of Forever Conscious and I'm always on her blog reading the different blog posts and she covers anything from astrology, from mindfulness, from spiritualness and she even um, does intuitive readings as well. So you can purchase this book on Amazon. I think it was only like $10, $15 but it wasn't expensive at all. And Oh, this book is says it was $15.99. Yeah, and then $21.99 in Canada. So I will definitely the link to the Amazon for this book again this one's called the power of positivity and i love this one i plan on reading it again because as you guys can see i've just highlighted all through this damn book like i love this book and i plan on reading it again another one i like to read is the crystal bible because you guys know i love my sacred gems and so this one has helped me as well because it actually helps you but telling you the different gems and crystals that you can use to actually help combat with stress and then this one as well the wheels of life oh my gosh i have falling in love with this one I purchased this one along with another book from the same author because this is when I was really starting to tap into my yoga practice and I really want to learn more and really understand the connectivity between the mind body and spirit when it comes to our seven chakra centers so you guys reading for me is very therapeutic it helps me to again escape it gives my mind a break and again it allows to give me myself that me time that I need when it comes to actually just wanting to combat stress it will really help you to just just give yourself a breather like literally and that was my other thing too breathing to just take a breath sometimes we don't do that sometimes we are so caught up in our lives that we don't just simply remember to just breathe that's all you have to do sometimes is to just simply take a breath and our breath is our spirit man so what I find is to just be very mindful of your breathing and I know that since the beginning of about 2017 and near the end of 2016 i began to practice mindful breathing and you guys just do not know how that made such a significant difference for me because one um i'm not technically diagnosed with asthma but i do have a lot of symptoms for asthma because if you guys don't know i used to smoke cigarettes oh my gosh i used to smoke them heavy so once i started to become mindful of my breathing it really starts to help a lot especially when I'm stressed out and if you just simply just take a simple seat and just put your hands on the knees or whatever and just close your eyes you guys and if you could just sit there and just simply just breathe you know and just go with the natural breath of your body I'm telling you it will just help to bring you down to a serene state of just blissfulness and calmness believe me you guys because we do not pay attention to our breath we're so on the go we're always in a rush or we're just living our lives that we do not pay attention so being mindful of your breath I'm telling you will definitely help you to really combat your stress especially when you're at work and you can't like in a sense get away to have a breather I would sit there and take a couple of breaths I really would and I would just sit there and I would close my eyes and I would just inhale through my nose and I would just go and then just exhale And the goal is to want you want your exhale to be longer than the breath that you're taking in and once you start practicing that you start noticing that your inhalation will actually start to become longer just as much as you exhale now one of my other favorites is to go walking and I don't go walking every day but I know that is a good way to help with stress because one you're getting outside and a lot of us do not spend enough time outside and I 
just don't understand how people could want to be indoors under fluorescent lights all the time. Like, it drives me freaking nuts. I'm not gonna even lie. It drives me freaking nuts. Anytime that it's sunny outside and the weather is perfect, I know it's cold right now because I know a lot of you guys live up north. And some of you guys actually live down south here but where I'm at, you know, along the Gulf Coast area. And so for us, we're able to actually get outside a lot more frequently than for you guys who are up north. So find times and take advantage of those times and those days when it's absolutely sunny outside it's gorgeous it's beautiful you know you can take your kids out that's definitely a good way for your kids to calm down as well as to get them outside and to burn off all that pent-up energy honey because that's a lot of times what it is we are so stressed out and then we have this pent-up energy and then we're not releasing it and so then we're internalizing that stress and we're just holding on to it so getting outside just getting out into that fresh air just that fresh nice nice sunlight you know hearing the birds chirp hearing the dogs bark outside you know hearing people talk the cars pass that will actually just start to bring you in tune to yourself and actually into the actual earth environment because a lot of people i know don't care to be outside but it really does have a lot of beneficial properties you guys like being outside like the other day y'all it had a moment and i just needed to get outside i was just like you know i'm just gonna stop let me just stop right now and just go outside like let me just do that and it was so sunny it was the perfect day and i kid you not my moods lifted through the freaking roots i felt so happy so bubbly i didn't feel you know stressed or sad or whatever like those emotions were literally released all because i took the time to just go outside to walk and to just be out in nature and being present in the moment oh my gosh what a liberating feeling you guys so definitely get back outside i know for me i am a beach bum so i'm kind of bummed out right now because it's not the perfect beach weather so we can't necessarily just go and just lay out on the beach and all that good jazz because yeah it's still a little chilly outside but oh my gosh you guys when the weather gets freaking perfect you're gonna see all over my instagram i'm gonna be at the beach because i love the beach it literally just sets my soul on fire to just be out in the warm sun and it just lifts my spirits i'm I'm telling you not if you watch me from the beginning of springtime to the end of summertime y'all are like this girl does so much stuff and then when it starts to get cold and stuff like that I really start to become like a bear and go into hibernation because it's no sunlight outside or it's not warm and stuff so yeah but walk get outside get that fresh air just just enjoy it and then just take in all of the natural beauty around you and that too will help you to appreciate and to be grateful which will also help you with combating your stress as well now these last two topics go hand in hand i feel because i mean why not you're doing them in your home and they're just so relaxing and one for me i started getting back into doing like bath times you know like getting into like my actual bathtub and I don't know why I got out of it I used to do it all the time growing up believe it or not even in my teenage years I used to take baths I would literally not like saying like take a bath and then don't shower like come on you guys but sometimes it's nice to take a relaxing bath oh my gosh you guys do you know what that does for the body it helps you to release all that stress and the tension that you are carrying pent up inside of your body for me i find that i carry a lot of stress in my hips and i carry a lot of stress up here in my shoulders and my neck for whatever reason i find probably with my upper body is because one i'm on my computer a lot because i'm filming and editing and then i feel with my lower body because with that being our second chakra you can tend to hold a lot of stress there and i started learning that i.e why i got the wheels of life book because i started learning more about it so i started getting back into my baths you know in a sense like my bath rituals and you'll find that a lot of business women business men anyone who is pretty much like a person who's in like a business environment when they go to find ways to relax and to just let go and to just be loose and free they are what going to retreats they're taking baths they're doing mud soaks they're doing love forms of self-care self-love and that will definitely help you with combating your stress so for me when i take my baths i like to put like if i have like 
hibiscus tea like I will literally just break the pouch open just pour those petals in there I will get some like aromatherapy like candles you can use oils like I'm fixing to discuss in a little bit um you can have some soft music going you know just to give yourself that serene just that time to yourself I'm telling you whether you just be in there for like 15 20 minutes and then you shower you will notice the difference you will feel so much better you will feel so much at ease at calm and at peace and even if you're only doing it once a week that form of self-love for yourself your body your mind your spirit you actually start looking forward to it to actually nurturing yourself and then when you begin the work week you're not as stressed you know or if you do it daily or how often you prefer to do it you will start noticing that just taking that little time to actually just give yourself that self-love will actually help you with not being so stressed out you won't even think of being stressed or you'll find that you know that throughout the day when things occur that you won't become as stressed because you're taking care of yourself you know you're giving yourself that self-love you're nurturing your body you're nurturing your spirit our mind body and spirit are so intertwined like it's not even funny and I don't believe that enough of us realize that and I find that once we all do come to you know the realization of that that so many people will be so much happier and even for myself I had to start learning this stuff you guys so that's why I'm sure able to share it with you today so yes that bath time that shower time take advantage of that don't just jump in and just shower you know and handle your business and then get out like no take that time make that time for yourself you know and just love on yourself nurture yourself like for me I will stand under the running shower water and just let it like literally just cleanse me I will just stand under there and just let it run on me and I'll just be thankful. I just imagine that I'm just cleansing everything that I need to let go and that I'm inviting all this love and light into my body. And a lot of times I'm standing in the shower praying as well. Like prayer, you can pray. You can do it any time of the day. You don't even have to say it aloud. You can do it just mindfully because he hears you. And yeah, you guys, so shower and bath time for me is like critical. It's more than just bathing. All right, you guys, so my last one is simply well not last one but one for sure i know another way that you can combat stress is to talk with someone who you utterly trust and i mean when i say talk with someone that you trust i mean someone that you trust where you know that you know you can share how you're feeling you know without feeling like they're gonna judge you because it's hard to open up to people nowadays and even over the years I've had to learn the hard way that you cannot open up to everybody because a lot of times people are not going to be as supportive as you may think so just be mindful of that now my last thing is essential oils y'all know I love oils period I don't even lotion honestly I'm an oil girl so if you ever smell me or see me that's what you're smelling it's a body oil because <laughs> I very rarely put on lotion like very very rarely the actually the only moist lotion I put on is my facial moisturizer <laughs> so yeah one of them that I find is essential oils and I have six of them here and so yeah so I have like some eucalyptus oil here this one I picked up at um Big Lots. This is from the brand Guru Nanda. Guru Nanda. Eucalyptus, it helps to revitalize, clarify, and invigorate. And I love eucalyptus. It's so calming. Um, I know another um, way that you can actually be able to use oils are actually to use um, like body care systems that actually incorporate oils into their actual collections. So I know Bath & Body Works definitely has the best aromatherapy lines out there that there is so i'll just leave a link to bath and body works down so you can check them out but i love eucalyptus this is like literally one of our favorite ones to actually use and we put them in oil diffusers which i will actually insert here you guys we have two of them i have a spa room um air diffuser and that one you can just take with you everywhere it runs by battery and by usb port and then the one that we have in our living room um that one's it can be portable, but then we have to actually put water in that one. So that one's a true diffuser. That one's by the brand Guru Nanda. And this one that I have is this orange scent, and this one helps refresh and to uplift. This orange scent is pretty strong, but I love this scent. I like to use this one preferably in the morning times, you know, so that we can, like, you know, again, be you know refreshed and you know uplifted you know and actually be awoken you know you're prepared for the day and i really wasn't expecting to like the orange scent honestly when we picked this one up the next one that i have is lavender and oh my gosh let me tell y'all something 
Growing up, I hated lavender. I really did. I would. I hated lavender. I just couldn't stand it. And my mom used it all the time. I loved how it smelled on her, but. For me, I didn't want it on me. I didn't want it on my clothes. I just was not a lavender fan. Even though lavender is good to keep mosquitoes away. So lavender helps to soothe, calm, and relax. And oh my gosh, y'all. It literally does. It really, really does. It's so calming, but the oil version is so strong, so I wouldn't use a whole lot of it. And honestly, you don't even have to have an oil diffuser to have oils. You can simply just sniff. Oh my gosh, that smells so and then you can just simply just, you know, smell a little bit like that, you know, not go overboard like you're trying to And hover. then the last two that we have are peppermint and rosemary. I love these two. And I actually like to use um, the rosemary and the peppermint one together. Yeah, these two I use together. And the rosemary one, I'm not sure as to what rosemary does, you guys, but I love the effects that it has on me. So I'll leave it listed here below. And the same thing for peppermint and i just love it it's so calming and just therapeutic and again i love oils i've always loved oils i've been using oils on my body and my skin for years so you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video these are just simply ways that you can incorporate into actually combating stress again whether it be by the form of prayer meditation yoga reading walking just being mindful of your breathing your breath your spirit man and just simply just staying in tune with you and just giving yourself that form of self-love and care I'm telling you will definitely help to combat your daily stress so queens I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what other lifestyle videos you guys would like for me to come on here and chit chat about because I'm actually been enjoying them and you guys have been too so I just thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today please if you haven't done so already make sure that you are subscribed down below by just tapping the red button and then just hit the bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload new content here on my channel and please again comment down below so we can get a comment going on other ways and tips on combating stress so I love you queens I love each and every one of you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today queens and I'll see you guys in my next upload bye you guys